Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to Clockwork Night! Uh, Pepperachu's Adventure? I actually don't remember it having a subtitle to the actual title of the game. I just thought it was Clockwork Night. Anyways, we're gonna go get started. Uh oh, I love this! Okay, so, um, this is something I remember now. Uh, I went to test out the game to make sure it worked and everything, but, um, yeah, if you go to Start and Option, the background has his eyebrows, like, move from side to side. That's freaking. Freaking awesome. Let's go to options. I'm actually quite curious as to what Sega Saturn options we can be given here. Uh, let's see. We got, oh, okay. So we got like level, we got like training, normal, hard. Okay. So you could just straight up train. Now nah, we're going to do normal. Uh, player, I mean, I guess you got to pick how many lives you want. Um, there's not really a rule as to how many lives I could have. So sure, I'll add, I'll add three more. Okay. Uh, they gave the option, and you can still play the difficulty the way it is, so I'm not arguing with those apples. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's do this. This is going to be my first Sega Saturn game for the channel, so it's going to be quite interesting. I hope you all enjoyed the, um, 
144p intro, I'm not 100% sure what happened. I think, from what I read in the manual, the story is, like, the, I, I want to say princess. I want to say the princess, who is in that, that little clock. She got captured, and now we're off to go save her? I know that sounds like a pretty, like, straightforward story, your typical, like, Super Mario scenario, because, you know, you're saving a princess and whatnot, but, uh, yeah. This is Clockwork Night, holy frick. Um, even I wouldn't believe how long I've waited to actually play this game. Like, in terms of wanting to play this game, I've wanted to play this game for about a good seven, eight years now. Like, I remember when, um, I'll, I'll tell a story as quick as I can. Uh, I remember when I got a Sega Saturn at this one game store back in, I want to say 2010, 2011 time. I'm not all too sure which year it was, but, um... I remember I was trying to get one, and I got one. Oh, shoot. I'm getting fricked. Uh, I remember I got one, and I wanted to get Clockwork Knight. I didn't get it quite that day, but I was like, you know, I'm going to get it. And then I ended up trying out the Saturn, and the visual cable was just being a pain. And, yeah, just one thing led to another, and I had to take the Saturn back, and it was just a really sad day for me. Oh, okay, so we can open this box. Anything behind here? Nope. All right, I'm going to go in. But yeah, the Saturn wasn't working out, and then I never got a Saturn since then. And I was given uh, a Saturn, or a Japanese Sega Saturn, for Christmas from my friend Clyde, and he has been, like, super duper helpful in making all, pretty much all of this possible for Sega Saturn stuff, so big shout out to him. Um, channel will be in the description. Just gotta remember to uh, link it, but um, yeah, he's got an interesting video. He's got very interesting videos. Uh, good gaming topics and whatnot. I believe I just died. So that's cool. It's a good thing I added all those lives. Oh boy, I think I just... I just started over. I believe I just started over. Why isn't there... I remember this game having a timer. I remember the game having a timer for the levels from when I got to try it out for like the shortest time I did. And I want to say that I left the cheat codes on from the action replay? I'm actually not all too sure. I might actually have unlimited lives, and that is a slight problem. So, oopsie doodles, I guess. All it was was unlimited time and unlimited lives, which to be fair, lives doesn't bother me so much since it's going to be a pretty straightforward playthrough. And when it comes to time, the levels were supposed to only give you like five minutes to work with or something, five, six minutes. So apologies for that, but uh, once you die, I believe time resets anyways, so. Not the biggest problem. But yeah, um, just, uh, if you, if you want some interesting gaming topics and whatnot to check out, especially if you ever need, like, repairs or, like, cleaning such, uh, check out Gaming Clyde's channel, it's pretty cool. Um, I typically don't do shoutouts, but he's done so much for me, so this is a special case. I will definitely, I will definitely put that out there, so give it a, give it a check. What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to open this? Okay, cool. Wasn't too sure if I was supposed to go up to the top left or something. Is this a very linear game where you just go straight forward or what? Ouch, fudge. Get out of here. There you go. At least from what I know, if you die in this game, you actually have to reset the level. I'm not 100% sure. Shoot, get away from... Ouch. No, 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 no. Refuse to reset this goddamn level again. You get the heck out of here, helicopter man. I ain't having that. But it's so weird, because I remember in the, like, little, um, HUD we had in this game, there's supposed to be, like, a timer, and I'm sure live, so... It's very, um, plain now. There's, like, nothing there, which is kind of bothering me. I kind of feel like I'm playing through some game, like, big-time cheater over here. I mean, granted, uh, this is gonna be part of, my, like, one of my little mini Let's Play series that I have going up on my channel, so... Uh, this is not going to be a long game whatsoever. I believe it only takes, like, an hour to beat. From what I've seen, so this could be like a little mini series, nothing too, nothing too much. Just a little short series, so no big deal. I guess you know, given cheat codes and everything, for for an hour, not too bad. Why am I missing two O's? Oh, that I oh, was I supposed to jump on the O or something? That I okay, all right. Goodbye bonus. Goodbye bonus. I was trying to get. That's cool. Okay, so I guess we're marching off this way. Okay, what do we got? What's up? What's the next level? I'm not... 
100% sure how many levels there are. Uh, so these will probably just get cut up in the like little parts here and there. Like, sorry if I can't end off the video at a proper time. I have, I have no idea how this game's gonna work. So I'll do my best. Hello, clown. Hello, clown. I love how they say toy. Like, one of the major reasons why I wanted to try this game. Oh, shoot. Did I just. Okay. Can I actually jump in the background? No, I cannot. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking of like, like some mutant muds. Got a business here. And granted, I've never owned the game. I've only got to try it, but I know of the game. And the game would allow you to like go to backgrounds and frick, so. Could you not? Could you not? I do not have the time for this. Alright. Um. But yeah. I've, I've been wanting to play this game for freaking ever. And Let's Play Wise, not so much. Like, yeah, sure, it was on my, like, to-do list if I ever, for some reason, got a Saturn and freaking a copy of this game. Lo and behold, this day has come. So, yay. Yay for being able to play games that I've always wanted to play for a long time. Uh, excuse me if this game is really weird or short and all that. It's just, it's, it's different, guys. It's different, but... We're gonna see where this goes. I think it'll be a fun game. I plan on doing more Sega Saturn games in the future. Uh, for right now, all I have is this and a possible Sonic 3D Blast Let's Play plan. So, uh, yeah, those two, those two will happen. But as for anything else, it really depends. I'll probably tackle on the Nights into Dreams Christmas and then maybe Nights in the Dreams for like a live stream someday. Uh, probably later this year for like the Christmas one, obviously, since Christmas just passed not too long ago, so that would be pretty neat. What the frick? Do you, ever, do you come out of your hole or? Yes, you do. Okay. That's cool. I love the like mechanics. This is actually a pretty solid platformer. Like, by no means perfect, but from what I've known, this is a Sega Saturn launch title. So for a launch title, good freaking game here. This is actually really fun. Like, I remember seeing gameplay of it years ago when I looked up Sega Saturn games that were good. Because I, I remember when I grew up with a Saturn, all I played were, like, a few games here and there that my dad had bought. I think we had, like, your Sonic R, um, Knights, Knights Christmas, and... Whew, that's, that's a, almost about all I can personally remember. If there was anything else, uh... I'm, I'm not all too sure, but, like, we did not have, like, a tremendous amount of Saturn games just because I don't think my dad focused on the Saturn as much. I could be wrong. He probably had some sport games since, you know, he likes sport games. But, um, those are the only ones I truly remember. Yep. Okay. How in the frick are we supposed to get up there? Am I supposed to hit your boxing glove? Okay, hang on here. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh. Oh, okay, these blocks are saying to push. The blocks themselves are showing me what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, jeez, okay, get the heck out of there. Can I actually defeat this box? I cannot. Okay, the more you know. But yeah, I just love the amount of detail that's in this game. Like, there's just books everywhere, there's text. Like, even if it's unreadable, it's like, it's little nice details here and there that I like. I think that's really cool. Okay, cool, I was actually able to collect that. Holy frick. Okay, so the books can't move when that's in the way. Fantastic, I will keep that there. Holy frick. Okay, I love the little gears I have too. Red, orange, yellow, green for my health. Heck yeah. Gee oh shoot, that hurt like a mother frick. There we go, okay, Jesus. I need to lose my green gear, dude. Frick you. Ah, shoot. Hang on. Turn around, there you go. Twist him up. There you go, that's nice. Goal? Oh, are we at the goal? That's cool. Okay, so we need... Oh! I don't think that's how it works. I think somehow I'm just missing stuff from here and there, but um, that's okay. I don't think 100% this game's going to quote-unquote kill someone. I think it'll just... Uh, I think getting the O's or something might get you lives? Bonus stages? Something? I'm not all too sure. I'm, I'm not 100% sure where we're going with that one. But oh well, that's okay. Next level. Oh shoot, dude. Is this a boss? This is a boss. Okay, you're a child with a hat. And this hat's probably gonna start slamming the floor, right? Oh shoot. Are we... Are we winning, or... What's up? Okay. Meow, 
and then he falls, and then he loses his hat. Okay. Uh huh. He he like outwins himself all the time. Oh. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. I was like, why do I keep knocking him over? And like that's that's all. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Just want to make sure he didn't slam me. Just wind him up. Wind him the frick up. Oh, what the nut? Oh, get away from me! Oh, Frick, off! Stop! Just stop. Not even. Not even cool. Just get out. Are you dead? What? What's up? Oh, did, did we win? I think we won. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, man. That was a bit much. That's kind of scary. Hey, a cutscene. Oh. Hey. <laughs> He's just kind of... Oh, okay. Alright. Alright. Yeah, that, that was a cutscene. Alright, so we got something roulette. We got we got Solta roulette? I don't know. Uh, I am pleased to see you. Okay, how many coins will you wager? Uh, I mean, I've got a... Bet just five. Um, I guess five? <laughs> Keep your eye on the boxes as they spin. Okay. What do we got? Look at those two coins. Gotcha. I'm looking. Alright, I think I know which one I want to pick. I think I know which one I want to pick. I want to pick... This one. Yeah, got me a coin. You may win double or lose it all. I... Uh... You know, I'm gonna play it safe. Deal or no deal? Frickin' deal. How many coins will you wager? Farewell. <laughs> I'm just leaving. Have a safe journey, come back soon. Well, okay. I guess we just gambled. That's, that's a good way to end things off, right? All right, next level. Where are we going? Kevin's room. Oh, boy. 